Guys, please make sure you stay until the end. One common mistake that people often make can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs parts, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Taco Chevy Suburban that generation here from year 2014 to year 2020. If you have a problem where that SUV overheats, the engine is overheating, you wonder what causes that, stay with us, we will explain what we see quite often in the garage. Sometimes if fix on time, you will save your engine. Otherwise, if you overheat it, to the point that you blow a head gasket, um, actually mess up cylinder heads, engine box, you will need the engine rebuilt or even replaced. That could cost you thousands of dollars in repairs, guys. So it could be simple fix, make sure you stay until the end. We'll explain where you can buy cheap parts and tools as well. That way you do not waste money and time. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them guys completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, bodywork guys, engine codes, transmission codes, fuses, relays uh, as well guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep making these free videos. Guys, we have more than 15,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. We'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience. Please check it out. If your Chevy Tahoe, <coughs> Chevy Suburban guys overheats, what you need to check? Multiple things can cause that. But the first thing that we see quite often in the garage, you need to check the fuses relays for the radiator fan because quite often the radiator fan can cause that. Then we'll explain what else. Both vehicles, Tahoe, Chevy Tahoe and Chevy Suburban are built on the same platform. It should apply to both. Now, guys, uh, there is five different fuse boxes in that SUV and most owners do not know where they are located. That's okay. That's why we made a special video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location, Chevy Tahoe and Chevy Suburban. Here now, what we need to do guys, first open the hood, under the hood, here on the driver's side, <coughs> you're going to have a fuse box. Open that cover and you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen guys at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So guys, here we need to check the radiator fan fuses re uh, relays first. So if we zoom in, the first one that we're talking about is fuse 116 right here. Then you need to check fuse 123, these two fuses. Here you don't have any relays for the radiator fan, but on the bottom side of that fuse box, if you take it apart, you have some relays guys that are actually integrated in the fuse box board. They're not replaceable, they're practically welded there. Uh, I mean, if you're a professional, you can uh, remove them, replace them, but uh, most likely there is a chance you have a relay there for the radiator fan. Always test your radiator fan. If you want to see how to test the radiator fan, we'll have videos on our YouTube channels how to do that. Another thing, radiator fan control module can be the cause for that as well. They're easy to test as well. We'll have videos on our channels how to test the radiator fan control module. Next, you want to check guys, okay, if your uh, serpentine belt is there. The serpentine belt drives the water pump, right? So if the belt came off, the pump will not be spinning. And as a result, okay, the, uh, the SUV can easily overheat. Now, uh, never stick your fingers there while the engine is running because those moving parts can take your fingers off. Just make sure that the belt is there. Okay, it's in good condition. Another thing, check that you're not low on coolant. 
don't open the coolant reservoir when the engine is hot. It can spray you, it can burn you severely. Let the car sit overnight, check it next morning. If the coolant level is low, that can cause it to overheat. Uh, multiple things can cause low coolant level. It could be leak, external leak coming out of the engine or internal burning through the cylinder head practically through the cylinders going through the exhaust uh, and you don't even notice it that way that means you have something bad head gasket cylinder head or engine block another thing guys if you recently replaced thermostat water pump um, anything radiator hose radiator that involved draining the coolant if you did not bleed the cooling system you may end up having air pockets in the engine that will prevent coolant to flow freely as a result you can severely overheat the engine so you need to bleed the cooling system try bleeding the cooling system see if that fixes it uh, we'll have many uh, many videos on our channels how to bleed cooling system as well it's specific to every car practically every engine another thing thermostat thermostat especially if it's stuck close sometimes when it's stuck open it can cause overheating as well but stuck close thermostat can cause the engine to overheat rapidly as well if you want to know what are the symptoms of bad thermostat or symptoms of thermostat stuck close we'll have videos on the channels that will teach you all about that next you gotta make sure guys the coolant temperature sensor is working correctly as well bad coolant temperature sensor can cause overheating uh, they're easy to test we'll have videos on the channels how to do that as well another thing make sure the coolant temperature sensor is plugged in uh, uh, what else can cause the radiator fan not to work the signal wire from the engine computer to the fan if it's internally broken somewhere we had a case like that where it caused the fan not to run and another thing guys okay uh, we had only two cases where bad engine computer caused the radiator fan uh, not to work guys okay but that's possible too something else weak water pump that we've seen can cause overheating but those are some of the most common things we see at the garage now it could be mechanical problems such as blown <coughs> excuse me blown uh, head gasket if you want to know the symptoms of bad head gasket we have the videos on the channel that will explain all about that as well but that's what we see quite often here at the garage so guys i want to show you now something okay check this thing out you have all different kinds of fuses fuses relays circuit breakers something that could be really hard to find and if you're in the middle of nowhere you don't have replacement one you may end up being stuck guys in the middle of nowhere or they can be seriously overpriced so what we do we usually buy some spare ones we put in the glove box for a peace of mind we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time